histoplasmosis is a fungal infection caused by an organism called histoplasma. The fungus lives in soil, particularly soil contaminated by bird or bat droppings. Histoplasmosis can be contracted when people breathe in the spores of the organism. Usually, most people can fight off the infection without becoming sick. However, in people with weakened immune systems, particularly those with advanced HIV disease, histoplasmosis can be deadly if untreated. Histoplasmosis is often undiagnosed or misdiagnosed in patients with advanced HIV disease. Because of this, the true prevalence of this disease is unknown. Nigeria has the second highest number of people living with HIV AIDS on the African continent. That's about 1.9 million people. And about 37% of these individuals present to care with advanced HIV disease. Advanced HIV disease is a known risk factor for histoplasmosis. And with this large number of advanced HIV population and documented cases of histoplasmosis in the country prior to the HIV AIDS uh, epidemic. It will be interesting to know how many proportion of these patients possibly have histoplasmosis. Histoplasmosis has symptoms that are quite similar to tuberculosis and it's often misdiagnosed as such in practice. You never really know how much of a disease is present in a population unless you scream for it. Sadly, this is the case with histoplasmosis in Nigeria and much of Sub-Saharan Africa. So our team chose to study this infection so that we can ascertain what's the true burden of the disease, its prevalence in Nigeria, and this will better inform policy development in managing this at risk population, the advanced HIV disease. In partnership with UNITAID and CHAI, we are screening 1,000 patients with advanced HIV disease for histoplasmosis across 10 sites in Nigeria. By supporting this study with the Medical Mycology Society of Nigeria, Clinton Health Access Initiative is helping to better understand the true burden of histoplasmosis in the country. Before this study, histoplasmosis was rarely screened for among advanced HIV patients. There was no test available to test a patient's urine for histoplasmosis. As a result, patients were either misdiagnosed as tuberculosis or were not diagnosed at all before they were put on antiretroviral therapy as part of their HIV treatment. Through this study, the histoplasmosis test is now one of the tests that air care workers give to advanced HIV patients who are at risk of this deadly infection. Using the same urine samples that the patients will provide for a tuberculosis test, Clinicians now store a small amount to be used for our histoplasmosis test. Once a facility gathers enough, we take them into the lab to run the samples through an analyzer. This is done at the facility itself or shipped to another facility that has this device available. We typically get the results in about two weeks. So, so far we have screened 548 patients, of which seven of them were found to be positive for histoplasmosis. Five have received treatment and have done remarkably well. Sadly, due to long turnaround time of the test, a patient recently died before the positive result was returned. It really hurts when treatment is available, yet you lose a life like this. These early findings tell us that there's evidence of histoplasmosis in patients with advanced HIV disease in Nigeria, and that there's an urgent need for a test that can be available at patient's bedside, one that can produce results in the same visits. This type of study is certainly not doable without a grant support. We really have to thank Unit 8 and CHAI for bringing this support to Nigerians so that we are able to document the prevalence of histoplasmosis among individuals living with HIV and AIDS, in particular those that have what we refer to as advanced HIV disease. Certainly there is a need to have to replicate this type of study in other countries such that we have more evidences in other countries, particularly those countries where there is high prevalence of advanced HIV disease. Diseases that you don't look for, you will not diagnose. Diseases that you don't think of, you will not be able to diagnose. So this study is an high opener. Certainly, we are going to make use of the result of this uh, study to further update the Nigerian antiviral treatment uh, guideline 
to update what diseases we should be screening for when we get patients that have advanced HIV disease.